in, in a movie like this, what you want is just for the audience to come in and be laughing as much as they can and just give them one big party. I mean, the, the movie's called Office Christmas Party, so you know, that's, that's the main focus is that you want to be part of something that is um, making the audiences laugh. Xenotech is a tech company and um, it's been trying to stay afloat. And my character Tracy had come up with a, uh, a product, the G9 processor, so that was like a few months ago and that's the one thing that's been keeping our company afloat. And she has this idea for something that is revolutionary and she is an innovator. She is somebody that is not just trying to get by, she's somebody that's trying to burst open the doors and you know, jump 20 feet ahead of everybody so that um, we're not always trying to lag behind and, and trying to play catch up. So she's a very smart, ambitious, innovative um, thinker. Well, Tracy and Josh, they have a really interesting dynamic. They have been friends and coworkers for so long and he had just recently gotten out of his relationship and Tracy and Josh had some kind of intimate relationship before we meet them in this movie. But because of the complications of life, and I think because Josh is somebody that freaks out um, when um, anything happens that changes his world, they stopped. But yet they still have to hang out and work together and communicate together. And we are meeting them in an interesting point because Josh has just finalized his divorce. It has been months since they last hooked up. But yet here we are, and um, and you know we're trying, we're being forced to to live in the reality of what we did and and what it might mean. This movie is every office Christmas party times a hundred. It's you know when you go into we know we know when it comes around for the office Christmas party every year. That's the time when people are giving themselves the excuse to hook up with the other coworkers to. Um, wear, you know, wear, you know, the the most flashy outfits they have, and to drink and debauchery is rampant. Um, I think all across the country, across the world, there when there is an office Christmas party, people get excited. That's when you get to really let it all loose. This office Christmas party amps it up by a hundred because our job is to land a big client. I mean the. The amount of talent on this movie that I get to be around and watch and observe is staggering. You know, Jennifer Aniston, who I, I mean, Jennifer Aniston, to me, is just the best. Is the best, best, best. And it's so nerve wracking when you meet somebody that you idolize because I can tell you from personal experience, being around them, hanging out with them, uh, like, you know, at parties that aren't my friends, but like you can see them, you're around them, or on a movie set and working with them very often you're disappointed and it feels very tragic and sad when you meet your your idols and you think gosh like you really suck or and you see how they're not very nice to other people and Jennifer Aniston is actually the opposite of all of those disappointments the the thing about TJ is he's very similar to the TJ that we see on TV and movies <laughs> he is the party starter he is the the go-getter of of anything fun, anything that's going on, he wants to get everyone to go do it. TJ is also really, um, he's, you know, he's always there to, to, to say something nice to somebody. You know, you always hear him, I can hear him saying something to, you know, somebody who, you know, was in the background going, hey, that was a really great, really great way that you hit the stapler. That was a really funny way. And he, he's just always very sweet and present and, um, and always trying to collaborate together. And he and I would always, you know, we'd come up with, with, um, you know, we would always be thinking about like, okay, what's, this, what's the best way that this line is going to come off funny? And, and how, do we, how do we help this other person's line? Like, what, what do we need to say here to make it, make it work? And it was really fun to, to work with somebody that was so collaborative. I've never worked with two directors before. And at first I really wasn't quite sure what was happening, to tell you the truth. I've, Will is much more talkative and Josh is, is more visual. But I wasn't sure if they were playing good cop, bad cop at first, and I wasn't sure what was happening. But now I see how it works so well. I mean, it's really great to have somebody else that is, you know, in an equal position as yourself. And you can collaborate and you can toss ideas off of, and they have a shorthand, and there's no hard feelings, there's no, 
sensitivity. They just try to make the best, and they both are really collaborative in both the dialogue and the the way that the scene will look. And um, I actually think it's a great idea. You know, as long as you know the, everyone's on the same page, which you know Josh and Will always are. Rob Cordry is a master. He is so brilliant and so funny and how he can come up with the things that he says and deliver them in the way that he does. I am envious and I want to be around him all the time. I hope the audience recognizes themselves in a lot of these people on screen and go back and, and insist that their office Christmas parties be exactly like this one. Maybe your last job, but it will be a fun last job. Did you know that filming on The Hunger Games Catching Fire left Jennifer Lawrence temporarily deaf in one ear? Hmm, sorry, what's that you said? For this and more movie flacks, click on more videos. But if you want something else, click on the playlist.